Hello, Hickson UMC. It's Wonder of God Wednesday, and I am here with a group from church for our first bus trip since the COVID pandemic, and we are so grateful to be together. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yesterday, I was asked by someone I met how our church is doing since the pandemic. I said, I thought we were doing pretty well. He was a little surprised because he's heard a lot of churches are struggling and asked what I thought has been helpful. I said, I think it's been a lot of things, the faithfulness of the congregation to God, the resilience of people to stick together. But I also remember something very significant from our first days of the pandemic. Right after everything was shut down, we were in a staff meeting talking about it. Together, we felt led to trust the process as an opportunity to think outside the box, to get creative, and to try new things we've never considered before. Instead of fearing what we might lose, we sensed God asking us to trust that in all things God works for good. Instead of just trying to keep things in place until it was over, we felt called to embrace the possibility of the moment, even if we struggled with getting things right. <laughs> and we certainly did. I remember our first days of trying to do things virtually. They came with a lot of bloopers, and I mean a lot. I remember one video I made took 50 takes. But we had fun with it, and together as a congregation, I believe we are better for it. And now, with many more challenges in our world, I sense God calling us again to the same trust. Scripture tells us that perfect love casts out fear, and at a time when reasons to fear seem to be increasing every day, we are being invited by God and empowered by spirit to let go of fear and instead to lead with love. This is the way of Christ who willingly stepped into anything that could get in the way of life and conquered it from the inside out. This love that casts out fear lives in us. It's who we are as the body of Christ created in the image of God. This love leads us to possibility and empowers all help, hope, and healing. My prayer, our prayer today is that we can know this love more and more. And if you're struggling to do so as we all do from time to time, we will stand together and remind each other that this love with a capital L is greater than fear and more powerful than evil. This love is the way, the truth, and the life. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Ha, ha, ha.